What up YouTube? This is the Young Chevy Truck YouTube channel where I plan on showing you how to build a 1984 Chevy C10 truck. It just burns rubber, ain't meant to be fast, and only meant to be fun for you. And in this episode, we're gonna be messing with the wiring today for the electric fan. I hope to actually just hear the fan run today on the setup. That's all I want. I just wanna be able to turn the key, watch the engine warm up, and uh, watch the fan bring it back down to uh, the temp that I like it to be at. So yeah, so we're just gonna really follow step by step what we're supposed to do and uh, put this thing together. And uh, man, this is gonna be pretty much it. I wanna mess with the mounting, I wanna get different bolts, I wanna put, I wanna take the uh, spacer off, so I wanna go get some bolts, but that's probably gonna be in tomorrow's video. Cause today, like I said, I just wanna hear it run as it should. I'm probably not going to mount the relay or do anything like that today either. Just because, like I said, uh, I wanna save that for another day. I really wanna focus all of my brain. I gotta collect all of my brain cells, bring us all to one room and focus on one thing, focus on the electrical system. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, I think that explains it good enough. Let's get to it. All right, first things first, we gotta take this bad boy out so that we can put our uh, thread in probe thing in there. I don't know the name of it. I think it's called a probe when it's the one that goes into the radiator and that's what I was really trying to avoid because I didn't want to stab my radiator again. So yeah we're gonna be taking this out and seeing what piece out of out of this kit will actually fit into my intake manifold. Probably gonna be that one right there. I hope they don't. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Anyway, but um, yeah, I hope that uh, one of these should fit. Small block shavers are so common. One of them gonna work. And sadly, uh, Kevin Dean cannot help us film this. So it's gonna be kind of a, a balancing act of filming and working. So we'll see what I can do. I'll do my best to capture every little bit that I can capture. Okay, cool is gonna come out of here. Oh, it's gonna come out of here fast too. Dang, that sucks, I didn't think about that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put this camera somewhere. I really need a tripod really badly, but I'm gonna try to makeshift uh, rig this camera up so y'all can get a little something, something to look at. Like that. Maybe tighten it just a wee bit more. But yeah, I'm gonna just tighten it one, give it one last little uh, grunt, and uh, yeah, we good to go there. Okay. But that's the worst of it. It was pressurized. That's why I should have took the cap off. I should have took the cap off. Make sure it ain't no. Stuff in there and the threads. Well, see, this is why I record stuff, y'all. It's so that, like, maybe some other kid who's working on his truck won't do what I just did, and he'll know to take the cap off and relieve the pressure first before he dag on, uh, sprays himself in the eyeballs with coolant. All right, so that bad boy's in there now. That's looking good. It's looking really good. I like it. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start working with the wiring situation of all of this, because it's gonna be uh, quite a trip. But I mean, like I said, there's instructions for all of this, so I don't think it'll be that bad. Let's see what we're working with here. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm loving this kit so far. Let's find a place to mount this. Like I said guys, I'm probably not gonna mount this today, but I just wanted to have at least the possibilities, the possible areas of where I'll mount it figured out. You know, I have the bolt somewhere that will fit this. So I'll probably just put the bolt straight through there, 
not that bad boy right in here well it, it sounded better in my head but somewhere right in here just like that that's how I saw it in like you know in other people's cars and other examples and everything they said to mount it as close to po as close as possible to the fan and which is crazy because I literally didn't even know that you had to mount it close to the fan I thought this was something that was gonna go inside the cabin so benefit of having directions right so yeah, let me look at these directions and then we'll see exactly what wire is going to go where and I'll get back to you in two seconds. Opening shot, Kevin Dean. <laughs> Sorry for the lack of filming, but uh, yeah, I uh, lost his cameraman. Cameraman's working on another project. Yeah, working on a million projects at once as always. So I think I'm just going to kind of go over uh, the first step. Of course, the first step was getting the uh, little thermostat in, and the second step was wiring up the thermostat itself to the relay. And I'm just going to kind of do an overview of it because it's hot and it's tiring to film and do the work at the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> I was trying not to get, I was dangerously close to this right here, wire. so, but that's not. But with no resistance, the wire would just moved. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you couldn't have gone through it. Probably, but yeah, I just want clean metal to put this ground on. Yeah, over that like that and yeah, that ain't going nowhere at all looks a little looks a little buggy but it's gonna work it's gonna hold it down for us mm -hmm. oh this is just we're not this isn't the final thing this is just wiring up to make sure it works okay. when it hits 195 so all right guys this is this is step two which is make sure that uh, this is in and it's not leaking and uh, make sure it has a good ground, which we do. Well, <laughs> it looks a little funky, but yeah, we got it. And uh, and then wire the rest of the way to the relay. And it's all labeled. Everything on here is labeled, so that should be good to go. Now we're going to move on to step three, I think. Step three. Now we'll connect the red wire to the fan uh, positive terminal or power wire coming from the fan motor. So that will be this right here. So I'm like disconnect this because this is from you know what we were doing before. I'm just cut it right there and uh, hook up the red wire. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't matter which red wire because they're um I don't know why. I think but the, the one with the most length and the most wiggle room is probably the one you want because it can go anywhere. Or you mean you said with the most length? They might have designed it that way. Give you two different lengths. I think this is for the... Uh, well, it should say it on there. Mm -hmm. All right, two electric fan. Yeah. Okay, cool. So when all the people were complaining about how we were complaining that it's cold outside, when y'all complain that it's hot outside, y'all don't know the half of it. <laughs> all right, y'all, once again, sorry for the lack of filming, but Kevin Dean is actually working on a project himself right now. So, and I messed up and I just realized it. <laughs> uh, I just realized I messed that up. Yeah, I didn't want this to rest on the thread. I wanted to put it below, but I didn't. I'll figure something out for that. I'll, actually, I'll, um, I'll just take this out. I plan on making these bolts shorter tomorrow anyway, so that won't be sitting on top of the threads for long. So, yeah, we'll, uh. Well, because I actually plan on remounting this whole thing, so I don't know why I'm thinking crazy. I'm talking crazy because I'm acting like I can't just dag on take that bolt out and be good. But anyway, um, yeah, we have the short red wire hooked up to it now, and like I said, everything is labeled in here. Everything. So look at this right here. I hope y'all can see that. Yeah, it should be focused. On. Make sure it's focused for y'all. There we go. It's labeled. So that should say electric, uh, electric to electric fan or something like that. Yeah, to electric fan right there. That's really handy. That's like the handiest thing in the world to uh, have something like that. I'm really liking this kit so far. So far, so good. 
um, thermostat in, daggone uh, relay is hooked up to the fan. Now I gotta hook up the long wire right here to a power source. Actually, I think I have to put it on the circuit breaker first, but let's just read the directions to see. Okay, so actually the next step is to mount the circuit breaker in the closest possible place to the power source. But now you guys should be seeing why I hate wiring so much. Because the person who owned this truck before me, I didn't look under the dash when I first bought it. Let me just add that. When I was 17 years old, I just, I knew the truck ran and it ran good. So I said, you know what? I want it. So, <laughs> so I daggone bought it uh, for 2,700 bucks and sent it. I drove it everywhere after that. I uh, broke things here and there and that's, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Basically, I didn't look under the dash, and uh, yeah, it's a wiring mess under here that someone else put together. So that's why I hate wiring. Maybe if the truck was stock, then the whole wiring situation wouldn't be such a pain in the butt. But uh, it is. It is. Maybe when I get another car, I'm going to make sure it's completely stock and it hasn't been tampered with yet. But then at the same time, I would feel bad for finding a car that's a jam that hasn't been tampered with yet, and then I'm going to be the one to tamper with it. So many ways you could go, man. So many different ways you could go. But let's go ahead and get with this. I'm talking too much. All right, and now we got the power wire that actually came with the kit that, as you can see, is going to the battery or to the constant hot, which is gonna go to a circuit breaker first and then into the constant hot. So I gotta make sure I have a constant hot because I don't think I do. And then the gray wire goes into uh, something that's powered by the ignition. Okay, so the only thing I don't like about this painless kit so far is the fact that it doesn't come with bolts here at all. So, yeah, this is one that I found, the makeshift one that I found. But yeah, it doesn't come with bolts, to, with nuts. I'm, I'm tripping nuts to actually go over this so that it'll actually hold the wires down. And these don't come off, because I thought they did, but they don't. So now I gotta go up in here and see if they got the little tiny nuts that I need for uh, to put this together. And like I said, this isn't like a how-to, it's just sort of what I feel and what I'm running into while I do this. I'm not, I don't want to give a how-to and then it's not the right thing. So I just wanted to let everybody know that that's what it is. So yeah, I got a little bit of extra wire and uh, for my situation and I'm going to put it all together. I really wish, I mean, nightfall is coming, like it's, it's about to get dark outside pretty much. I probably got a good hour of light before I can't really work anymore out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take advantage of that hour. And then I'll, I think I'll just show you guys the finished product and then we'll just start it up and see how it do. Honestly, cause I just, I really just wanna get it done now. I really just want tomorrow to be a time where we can just mess with little stuff to uh, make it look cleaner underneath the hood, so. And also I have a graduation to go to tomorrow, so there's no telling if there's gonna be a video tomorrow. I really hate that, but I gotta go support, so um, yeah, I uh, I got a graduation to go to first thing tomorrow, so I won't be able to do a lot of work, but hopefully I'll be able to at the very least clean up the wiring that I did today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to it. I really appreciate y'all. Make sure you guys leave a like for me. Like y'all have been killing it with the likes, bro. I've never seen so many likes in my days. Like it's been so many likes, bro. And it's weird because it's just like I'm I'm not used to like having this much of. Uh, I'm not used to having this much of a following on like any of my social media, so it's weird to have people keep up with me like like they do, but they do. So I really appreciate y'all, man. Like it, if it wasn't for y'all watching this video right now, then uh, I probably wouldn't be able to do the stuff that I'm doing. Cause I mean, my actual job pays me, but the little little tiny little drop that I get paid every month from YouTube is a big help. It's a big help for sure. So let me go ahead and get back to it. I'm talking too much. All right guys, so the circuit breaker is finally hooked up with bolts and everything and everything is being held together. Uh, I know it's just hanging here. I know it's a lot of excess wire, but I'm gonna get it straight uh, after I mount it somewhere. I, uh, I just wanted to really hear it run today, like I said. So let me go ahead and uh, do the last step, which is taking the black wire and putting it to an ignition source and then we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, um, I'm not really sure about my full 12 volts uh, source of power. I don't think I have one just yet, but 
Uh, yeah, I do have a dedicated ignition switch in the relay, in the, in the not in the relay, in the um, in the fuse box that I know for sure works. So uh, I'm gonna plug this in, and uh, then we'll see if it runs. We'll see if it runs. I guess I do get to hear it today. Got to make sure everything's out the way outside, because like I said, I just kind of threw it together just because I wanted to see if it worked. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, tidy it up under the hood and everywhere, and mount everything the right way, because you know the relay's not even mounted yet so yeah i'm gonna plug that bad boy in there i might have to add a little bit to this to this wire in order for it to reach my fuse box but we should be good let me go ahead and do that and then uh, i'll show you the finished product way too much wire i thought i would need more but it turns out this uh the white wire that i'm supposed to uh put to an ignition source um it's actually long enough so i'm probably gonna end up taking that out tomorrow but everything's wired up now just gotta make sure i check all of the bolts and things you know connections like these make sure they're all together and then uh i'm gonna turn the key and i'm gonna see if the fan cuts on at 195. it's see y'all see how hot it is man out here it's a no bucket hat kind of day because it's that hot but uh that's a whole different subject um but I'm going to check all the bolts, all the connections, and then we're going to turn it over and see if it works. And then we'll worry about cleaning everything up tomorrow because that that's literally all the wind I need out of today. It'll be enough wind to satisfy last week where we failed. And uh, yeah, I'll be happy with this for sure because it's just like last week I was so like my creativity was blocked. I just uh, I just couldn't get it together. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't get motivated last week, man. But I'm motivated this week for sure. So, like I said, check these real quick. Spin it. I haven't heard the truck in a while. I kind of hate hearing it just because of the muffler sounds so bad. And that's definitely something I want to address probably in the next couple weeks. If not, probably maybe the week after next. After we work with the carburetor and the metering rod situation and the possible accelerator pump and all that crap. After we work on that, then I'll probably work on the mufflers and I'll get the new muffler set up for the C10. But I'm gonna do a bolt check and then we'll cut to turn that key. Okay, so uh, I'm a little nervous. I'm to start her up. You know, I'm nervous as always, but um, things to look out for, make sure the coolant isn't leaking from that new connection that I made. I already made sure nothing's hitting the, uh, the fan. When I turn the key, nothing should happen. Let's see. All right, all right, nothing happened. That's good. Um, it would be really awesome if this worked right now, but I'm coming up with excuses now. It's time to just start it up and go out there and look for uh, for leaks and possible shortcomings of the setup. So pump two times. I haven't heard the truck running forever, man. Don't do anything stupid. Even though the mufflers are trash. Oh, it still don't sound half bad though. Not at all. Let's go out and take a look. I guess we wait. We wait until 195 and then we'll see if this thing is actually gonna run right. It looks like my connection is good. Not leaking at all. So I guess it's time for us to just go sit in the cabin and uh, wait and see if it's gonna overheat and wait and see if, uh, if the fan's gonna cut on as advertised. But I need this win. Like I said, guys, like, like this week, I really tried to just like center myself and try to try to relax like in my mind I know I want to get this done and I need to get it done so I can drive it some more and then we can you know get to sliding it again and I, I think that in itself was kind of pressuring me like I was trying to pressure myself to finish all this yesterday like that that's the thing that's the difference between this week and last week this week it's I'll get to it when I get to it either way I'll get to where I need to go so just take your time You'll finish it when you finish it. 
Last week was, I should have finished it yesterday. I should have finished it two days ago. That was the whole mindset. And I was kind of bullying myself. And that's just not good for you. You know what I'm saying? So, today, I got this new mindset of I'll get to it when I get to it. And I'm, if this works and this wiring is good, then that means the rest of this week will be nothing but smooth sailing. I don't want to, you know what? I don't even care. I'm going to jinx it. It's going to be nothing but smooth sailing. I said it. Man, I love this truck, man. I cannot wait to slide this thing again. Y'all just have no idea. Honestly, y'all, I think I found a spot to do my first burnout. Right over there. Hurry up. I guess I could close the hood to try to prolong it a little bit. Well, not, no, I, I could close the hood to try to speed it up, but I think having the hood up right now instead of down is prolonging the warm-up process it's because all the heat is escaping out the top yeah i think i'm gonna go close the hood just a little bit okay come on fan get on now come on fan it's not on yet Come on, cut on. You should be at 195 now. It's like the radiator, even without a fan, is still keeping it really, really cool. Okay, so it didn't cut on, but the radiator kept it cool though. Which is weird, so it went back down. That radiator does work, man. But still, I would have thought that it would have cut the fan on, though, at that temperature. Because it should have been at 195. Alright, so it's creeping back up again. Let's see if it does it now. Come on, fan. You need to be on now. As soon as it hits the 200 mark, I'm going to cut it off. Because it should have been there by now. Come on, man. Okay, it didn't work. I'm gonna call it there and say it didn't work. I think I need to find a different power source because I don't think my power source is good. I know that I have a good ignition source, but I need like a constant power source and I feel like I haven't gotten that yet. Luckily, um, right now the engine is hot to the point where if I find that power source and flip the key onto ignition, the fan should come on. So, that's good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and check leaks one more time. I see a little bit of water, but I feel like that's, it's some coming out the top of this fitting. So I'll have, to, I'll have to address that, but at least it's not a lot spraying out. Yeah, I think it's lying with my power source, because everything is hooked up, relay is hooked up, everything should be good to go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try a different power source and then we'll start it back up. Or we'll just turn the key on since the engine is hot. Should come on after that. So let me try to see if I can source another thing. Another uh, power source. Okay, with the new constant power source, let's turn the key and see if that does something. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, let's try another one. Should turn the fan on while it's in the ignition. Nope. Hmm. Alright, let's try plugging that wire that should be in a constant battery source. Let's plug that into the other ignition port and see if it, that at least turns the fan on. Because then that'll tell me that my power is the issue and not something else. Trying another one. I, I put it in the ignition port. I should have the wire that I moved, which is the, which is the um, constant power wire. I put it in the ignition power wire because I'm just... Or I put it in the ignition part of the fuse box just because I want to see if the fan is going to cut on at the certain temperature that this kit is rated for. Come on, bro. Hmm. Okay. I gave him my all. 
I really did. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to find this issue tomorrow. Um, at least I got the initial wiring of it all together. I just wish I could have got it running today because that means uh, less work to do later in the week. But I'll go to that graduation tomorrow and then I'll try to get home as soon as I can and then I'll start messing with it again. With a new frame of mind because I guess I am tired right now. So I guess this will give me time to just think about it. Like, you know, something about me when I was a kid and I used to like play video games all the time. I used to get super duper frustrated when stuff didn't work and when like I couldn't like beat a certain level or whatever, certain mission or whatever. And um and I remember I used to just stop and come back to it later. I would literally just put it down for maybe like a good couple hours and then come back to it later on and usually after I come back to it later on, I'm fresh and I finish it on the first try. So, I'm hoping that's the case with this. Mm-hmm, I'm hoping. So just like that, y'all, I think this one's pretty much over. I know I'm blurry right now, because it's dark and this camera's like, like, I don't know where your face is at, bro. But it's all good, y'all. I, um, I'm just gonna get back to this tomorrow. Um, I hope this was an okay vlog for y'all, man. I hope it provided enough information about the experience of of dealing with this type of thing on a classic truck and I cannot wait to go relax you have no idea I think I've done I've done good today I'm giving myself that pat on the back today just like that y'all I think this one's pretty much over and I really appreciate you guys watching make sure you leave a like for me like I said um yeah I'm about to go chill man and we'll figure this out tomorrow the initial wiring should be good though should be good just have to try stuff move stuff around See what works, see what doesn't. And we'll get it. We'll get it. So just like that, like I said, this one's pretty much over. I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next one. And have a good one.